I'm Will Bradley from Natural Born Hunter and today we are at Stanislavski and we are going to be talking about release aids. One in particular, that is the Perfex Thumb Release Aid. It's their brand new 2017 model and to talk about it and give you some pro tips, I brought in not only an archery pro but an international hand model, Chuck Cooley. <laughs> How you doing, Chuck? Good, man. Good. I haven't had an intro like that in a while. Oh, well, I am please. Huh? Hand oh. model. Nice. Well, you're right, man. This new Perfex release system that uh, Eric came out with here at Stan is, man, it's really a home run. They've, they've redesigned the entire thing. You know, I see you've got your old release over here. That's right. There's the shoot-off right You know, right you look there. at the shoot-off. Now, I've, I've put hundreds of thousands of arrows through one of these shoot-offs, but about the only thing that's similar is the look of the case. After that, it's it's completely redesigned. All right, so Eric and I delved into this a little bit already, but yeah. what, what I want to know from you is why do guys who compete in train to hunt or alpha bow hunting or any archery athletic type competition, why is this release going to be better for them than, say, another company's release? Well, the thing that I've always enjoyed about the stands is the repeatability and the accuracy and the speed and the reliability. Um, one of the key things I love about stands is I can set them to zero travel and as light or as heavy as I want on the barrel. Now, zero travel means that I can, this little, there's a little set screw right here in the back, um, and it's like zero movement at all. And some of the other releases, when you put pressure on the barrel, it's like, it's like trigger travel on a rifle. I got you a little slop in there. Right, there's a little, right. There's a little play in there. And with the stands, it's always been that you can set them to zero travel. And then you use this other set screw, and this is a custom piece that Eric did. There's a spring in there and a custom cap that goes on so that you get real consistent tunability. So you can set that as light, like a hair trigger, or as mm -hmm. heavy as you want. There's, there's a few pounds of difference there so that you can get it exactly where you want it to be. All right, what if, say, I'm at the Alpha and every shot, how quick I get back to my bow, or I'm, say, at Train to Hunt, and these follow-up shots I'm doing, they got to come in quick succession. What about this release is going to help me there? Um, the, one of the things that's new this year is there's a little tiny spring in the jaw there, and you can see, see how that comes back over? Right. Now, in the old-style releases, once the release popped, that floats, right? So, right, you, you used to have to do the little jing, right? To get you it back shoot, on there. and then you got to kind of get it in. You, you know, you would pre lock it and then get it in, and then you got to get it over with your finger and all that, right? With kind, this of, one, kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, anyone yeah. who's done this knows what I'm talking about. It's you know, it's a half second or a second of time, but it's a half second or a second of time. And when you're on a time challenge, every second it makes counts. a difference. So, once you shoot and then you re lock that, that's already back in position. So, you hook and go. So for your guys that are doing the mountain stuff way faster, they're going to pick up a few seconds in a round right there. All right, so we've now cut down um, my reset to pullback time. What can I do if I have to practice, say, some of these longer drawn hold shots? Or even for any bow hunter out there. I mean, a lot of guys know what it's like to have an elk or a deer spot you, and you're already drawn back, and you have to be there for a long time. What are they going to be able to use in this release to practice that? Well, one of the one of the things that's exclusive to the stand line of releases is this trainer lock. This little guy. This little guy right What's here. What's this little guy do? It's it stores on the handle. All right. Um, but the cool aspect of it is it screws into the release right here, so that when you have that in place, you cannot fire this release. It'll click so that you get the audible noise that you know, okay, the shot should have broke. Right. But it actually doesn't release an arrow. So, so that you can work on setting up the release to feel the most comfortable so it goes off exactly when you want without firing a bunch of arrows. So I can practice a lot of draw and hold shots without ever having to actually fire this release. Right, and it, it fits right in the release like this, and then when you're not using it, it just stores right back in the handle like that. Now, this is going to be a little bit more obvious for people. I'm sure you can see it in the camera. Chuck, if you were to hold this release up and drop it, what would happen? Uh, this particular one, they incorporate a lanyard, so nothing. Nothing. Um, and I've lost these out of tree stands, so um, it's kind of a nice feature. Um, for your guys who are doing the train to hunt and the mountain contests and things like this, now they're not reaching into a pocket to grab a release. It's right there in their hand 
without having to go to an old trigger style release that fits tight around the wrist. And it's adjustable. This one just has a really simple cord on it. Um, you know, you could make your own paracord bracelet right, or something right, like right. that. Really customize that feel. The other thing about this release is, you know, this particular one is set with a three finger style, which is my preference. Um, but you can build it with a four finger style as well. And these releases come in four different sizes. So if you've got kids, women, small bodied men, small hand people like myself, um, or you get these big mountain men. Some monsters out there. Yeah, so it goes small, medium, large, extra large, and the fit so that you know what you're buying fits like a glove. If you know what glove you're gonna buy at the hardware store, like I wear small gloves, right? buy a small release, it's gonna fit. It's set off that same standard. All right, now we know some of these guys are a little bit of weight weenies. They don't wanna carry a bunch of extra stuff and junk around. Is it tough to work on this? I mean... No, man, one, one, one tool, one wrench right here. This one wrench does everything on this release. It adjusts the thumb barrel. Now, this is something you haven't even mentioned yet. The thumb barrel with this comes with five different extensions, right? Everybody in, loves extensions. <laughs> in the package, you get three um, as a standard kit, and you get the small barrel like this. Um, but if you want the large barrel or you want a longer extension because you want it to hit farther back on your thumb, it's a piece of cake. You just ask them. You, you order it as, a, as an accessory item. All right. But it's one wrench. You're not carrying a whole tool kit. You're carrying one wrench to work on these. So you've got ease to work on, totally adjustable, just mm -hmm. about everywhere on this release. You can practice your, your holds for as long as you want. Reset so you don't waste a lot of time kind of jerking that release around, getting it back onto the string. Where are they going to be able to find this and check it out? You can find this at all your local pro shops. Okay, If your local dealer doesn't carry it, you can ask them to carry it. That dealer can call right into Stan or they're available at distributors all over the country and all around the world so they can get it direct from the distributors, they can get it direct from uh, Stan, or they can get it at their local pro shop. Now, and Chuck, they're shipping now. They're, they're there now. They're there now. Now say even more importantly, if people want to view this handsome face, where can they find more Chuck? More Chuck? More uh, Chuck. Mostly uh, at uh, Chuck Cooley Facebook, um, Chuck Cooley Archer. Uh, is where you're going to find me 99% of the time. Um, I am doing a series of videos with Eric on these releases, so there'll be more information out there. You can find that at the Stan website, ishootastan.com, um, or you can find them on YouTube and things like this. All right, so there you go. Head on over to ishootastan.com. Follow Chuck on Facebook and Instagram. And in the spare time, head on over to alphabowhunting.com and check out their upcoming competitions. This is Will Bradley with Natural Born Hunter. Wake up, chase your dreams, repeat. That was good. That was good. That was one take. That, that was one was take really right there, good. Chuck.